Oh, oh. he's going to introduce himself. Oh. We're going to have to do this quickly. Hello. I'm Vic. I'm Jo. He's William. <laughs> and uh, the rest of this video is the story of how William came to join us here on this boat. Yeah, if it's, it's a bit different from our usual vlogs, which are normally based around cruising around the canals and doing things on boats. Um, so if you're, if you're in this for the DIY, for the tiling, for the, I don't know, fitting out of boats, then this might not be your cup of tea. Yeah. So feel free to skip it. And then uh, if, you, but if you wanted to stick around at the end, um, there's a bit of a, we're having a bit of a candid conversation. A reality check. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a good, that's a good way to put it. Uh, oh. oh dear. Ooh. He's been a bit sick, so. See, see you at the end. Run, run the video. <laughs> We're just having a quick breakfast before we head to the hospital, because I think that my water's broke. Pretty much as soon as I woke up, it was obvious. Yeah. So, I flapped around in a little, <laughs> in a little flap. <laughs> Rang the hospital and they said to go in, so. So here we go. We're gonna go in and see what's going on in there. <laughs> Just having a breakfast first, because I thought if I have to do this without breakfast, <laughs> it's not gonna go well. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty excited. I feel pretty like I just want to check that everything's okay in there and then I'll be able to be a little bit calmer. I don't know actually how, how calm I'll stay. Something is happening contraction wise though, I'm sure. Okay, I'll ring a taxi. Have you got children? Yeah, I've got four with us. Four. Up now. Five grandkids I've got. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> How was that contraction? And to work out the model. Only you would take the stairs. <laughs> Trying to progress things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, Joe has gone, I think, to be, um, I don't know actually, she just went off with the nurse. I think they're going to have a little look at what's going on. I'm, uh, I'm left on the bench out here for the time being. How's it going? Good. We've come back from the hospital and they've um, sent us away until everything gets a bit stronger and stuff. So we've come to a hotel <laughs> to live it up. <laughs> Just basically to have a room near the hospital because of all the hospitals being really busy, they're sending us to like different ones. So here, we should be close to the one that we need to go to. It's about five o'clock in the evening now, so we spent a good day at hospital. Everywhere is like really busy. I think something happened in January and everyone's having the babies this week. <laughs> um, so it, like, I don't think we needed to be in there that long. It's just that the doctor took a while to get around, but it was fine. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna hunker down here now for the time being until it's go time then we'll make a leap from here we've got some little pot noodles on the go <laughs> so hospital snack stash <laughs> yeah breaking into that they came in handy
feel a bit like shaky. very good at staying calm here. Okay, if this is the early stages we've got to hunker down for this. Mm -hmm. How long was that between? That was four minutes. I'm feeling better than I did before. I feel like I okay. care. Really? Yeah. I just think I just needed to get used to the pain. It's hard when you just don't know what's to come when you're like, what is this like? Is this the very start? Yeah. Like, is this, then I'm going to go there and they're like, <laughs> you're not even in labour. <laughs> you're not even pregnant. <sighs> How long have we got before the next one? Well, usually right, right now. Right about now, hey. Here we are at the hospital. Check out how cool the birthing room is. China's kind of not enjoying it as much at the minute, but... This is the part where things started to feel a little bit more intense. The contractions were getting closer and closer together and a lot more painful, so I knew things were going in the right direction. don't remember a lot of this I think I was in my own little world so watching these clips back feels really weird it's like watching someone else Well, we made it. We did it. And we're home with William. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Tired and probably buoyed up by love. Uh, but pretty, pretty tired. I haven't really slept for 48 hours. Yeah. Oh. And I doubt that situation's going to be an easy one to resolve now. <laughs> It's the morning after the first night. This is what lunch times look like now for the family. Vic's made a delicious lunch. It's like a chorizo pasta bake. Yeah. What more could you want? Oh. Yeah.
Joe's like think we should burp him after yeah. he's been eating, but then he just goes into this he like real cozy mode. snappy change yet would you say oh that was like Mwah. it's heavenly no tears he enjoyed it i enjoyed it <laughs> i think you enjoy all of them yeah i do even just for that extreme like parental thing of just being like that's a good poo good poo son yeah it's and a proud moment every like, poo whoa loads of we well done Let's have a look here. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have to recreate the magic. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. That's probably not the end of it, is it? Not judging by these motions. He saves it all as well for when the when, as soon as like, Vic opens things up to see what lays beneath, then he's like, wee, <laughs> poo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boop, boop. night last night yeah he did didn't he yeah something around nine o'clock at night just alerts him yeah he disagreed with it like, <laughs> i'm angry <laughs> i've suddenly realized i'm furious <laughs> <and> anger <laughs> i need to poo i'm a little bit hot <laughs> i don't feel nice <laughs> yeah. it's quite upsetting when he's upset i yeah. think that's what we've got to um that's what we've got to learn, like he's gonna, he's gonna cry. Yeah. Joanna just finishing off a little chickpea and aubergine curry. This is really nice. I feel so relaxed today because I haven't had to do anything for like a week. Not anything. But the deal is, well, what we're doing is I'm feeding William and Vic's feeding me. <laughs> I haven't yeah. even like been in the kitchen apart from to get a drink of water or something but I haven't done anything and Vic's been whipping up the most nutritionally nutritionally dense meals I feel like really generally the deal is <clears throat> if you give birth to one of my children <laughs> <laughs> I'll look after you for a week and you can hold me to that <laughs> What's for dessert? <laughs> just before we go, while we've got here, we thought we'd just say something really quickly. We're not uh, in the habit of talking like this or anything, but just thought it's worthwhile saying because we watch other people's vlogs and stuff like that. We're aware of uh, the power of their influence over how you're feeling sometimes. I think at their best, they can make you feel really good like that you've spent 10 or 20 minutes in the company of friends and had like a laugh and it can you know like you go about the rest of your day maybe with a, a light-hearted or lighter-hearted sort of like a view on things but obviously the flip side of that is that a slightly worse effect of social media can sometimes be you can makes it easier to compare yourself unfavorably to other people or to their you know, to the projection of themselves that they put on social media. And 
for all we know, I mean, I know that it's, it's going to sound like we're self-aggrandizing here, being like, oh, the channel's so big now, we've got to start taking responsibility for our content and stuff like that. But I'm not really saying that, but I'm just like, we don't know, I might be, we might be speaking to somebody who's going through the same thing or is in the same phase of life or something or has just had a baby or is just getting pregnant or something like that or, and is worried about things and is looking at us and thinking, oh, it all falls into place for those guys and feeling bad about themselves. So this would be, I would just say a reminder well not a reminder but i just wanted to speak to you and say that it's not a gritty documentary that we make it with holly the cafe but it's a, the whole channel is a light-hearted sort of look uh, at life we're just making light-hearted content and stuff like that so we're never really going to get too gritty you're never going to see like uh the darker side of things or, or something like that because well partly because of the effect of that that's never when you pick up the camera and you want to film in the first place but also because it's not the show we're making. So that would be, you know, just, everybody's got, you know, everybody goes through some, and not trying yeah. to like get the violins out for us or anything, but no. everybody goes through hard times and we're just as human as, as anybody else. Yeah, and basically, um, yeah, there's, of course there's been tears. Of course the birth wasn't like a ha ha ha, <laughs> a hoot a minute kind of thing yeah. and like also like the after bit getting used to having William here and looking after someone else will would, would you film the like the nice bits and the bits that you sort of feel like ready to get the camera out for but um yeah it's it's just not the full picture and it's just a reminder because I think sometimes I'm probably especially guilty of yeah seeing other people's like online presence as they're like it's it's so easy to compare things and also to say that like for people on the on the outside of this it would seem that things yeah fall into place pretty easily for us like oh we get we have a we have a ball doing up a cafe boat and then we get married and then straight away we get pregnant and isn't that great but that's definitely not how it happened William has been in the works since like before we even thought of the cafe boat and I think that's the thing that like nobody would really know but also probably um I, I would have wanted to know that when we were going through all that because sometimes it can seem that everything's going well for everybody else and it makes you feel like a lot more alone that maybe you're not doing as well as other people or something like that yeah i think that's the that's the part for me that it um makes a difference on because when uh, when anything's happening like that and other people around you are seemingly getting pregnant left right and center it can really feel like you're on your own in something and that's hard enough as it is so i just want it that's what i want to yeah put out there. i think it's good to say so sorry for the this, you know, this is like maybe a candid chat. It's not usually in our style, but I think just especially around this kind of subject, it's probably worth saying because it's it's too easy to, uh, you know, to make light of massive things. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So from now on, we're just getting back to the rest of these videos are going to be just back to our normal sort of content <laughs> <laughs> yeah these just felt these last few just felt like very personal so yeah. maybe it's worth saying something a little more personal yeah 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 that's a good way of putting it yeah yeah but from now on it's just you know montage sequences to snappy tracks <laughs> it's back to music videos. we'll find some tiling to do <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but anyway but thanks for watching yeah thank you and we'll see you all soon ah goodbye from us and william Blow them a kiss, William. Mm. He can be so rude sometimes. <laughs> <laughs>